Hey, Alex, Victor was just on and said he was, you were the first guy that spoke up at that team meeting. Um, what was your message and why was it important for you to, to feel like to get your message out there and speak to the team? Uh, the main purpose of my message is honestly just our, our mindset. I think that everybody was just so negative this weekend, um, you know, kind of just right from the get-go. Obviously, you know, we got hit early on with some adversity, but every, everybody's mind shifted to a negative thought instead of saying, hey, we got nine innings of baseball to play. There's so much baseball yet to be played. And, I mean, we've put up seven, eight runs like we did last night in an inning, and it was possible for us to come back in those games. But uh, I just told everybody, like, guys, I mean, you know, the players, the coaches, the trainers, everybody, I just felt was in a negative mindset this weekend. Um, and, you know, I think getting that message out and having everybody being a positive or even just a neutral mindset going into the game yesterday really helped us. All right, we're going to go to Luis Zavala of CBS4. Go ahead. Uh, what um, what do you guys have to do to get in the right mindset? And, and do you already see it happening even with the game last night? Yeah, we just have to come out here and remember this is a kid's game. I mean, this is the game we've been playing our whole lives. It's something that's supposed to be fun. we got to come out here, you know, joke around with each other, but at the same time be serious in the moment. Um, and I think yesterday that kind of worked for us. I think we all, you know, kind of went back to the brand of baseball that we played, you know, the last couple of years here at Miami and, you know, just kind of enjoyed the moment out there. You know, you're still playing with some of your best friends, but at the same time you're leading them into, you know, a battle, into a war against another team. And um, just that mindset really helped us. All right, we're going to go back to Christopher Stock of Inside the U. Chris, go ahead. Yeah, Alex, you, you touched on that. Um, you did about 500 swings off the tee. I think Sunday was the day that you said you did that. Is that rare for you to do that much work, especially during season? And then also uh, your take on, on Raymond Gill last night, getting a couple of doubles. What are you seeing from him at the plate? Uh, I've always been a guy who works extremely hard. Um, kind of the guy that always likes to take extra cuts. I probably hit, if not every night after you know our practices, I'll hit on my own. Probably 11 o'clock at night. I just like to get extra work and um, kind of make myself feel in the rhythm. But um, definitely after the loss on Sunday, I was you know not in a, in a good mindset. I was very upset, you know, embarrassed. Uh, something that I didn't like the way I felt. So I, I just you know kind of wanted to be by myself and. Um, I didn't realize how many swings I was taking. I just brought two ball buckets with me to home plate. And, you know, I was, when I finished hitting, I was like, oh my goodness. So I, I kind of counted every ball I picked up and I was like, I think I hit too much, but, um, and, and just Gil, uh, he's always been a guy who swung the bat extremely well since we've been little and, you know, to, for him to get going and, you know, for our lineup to have those type of powerful bats in it is just going to make it more dangerous for the pitchers. It's going to make it, you know, harder for them to pick their poison and, uh, the more type of bats that we have in the lineup like that, just the more pressure it's going to put on the other team. Anything else for Terrell? Great. Al, oh, one more question from Josh White of WVM. Josh, go ahead. Hey, Alex. I know last night, obviously, you broke out with a great game, a career high, six RBIs. What differences did you notice after putting in that work on Sunday? You know, did you stand the ball more? Were you waiting for it to go back in the zone? What, what changes did you notice? Uh, I mean, my main focus was direction. I, I was kind of uh, very directional out of the zone with my front hip, my front side. Uh, so I just kind of, I only swung away off the tee. I didn't really pull any balls. I just tried to stay to left field. Um, just kind of getting my hands through the zone and, and having more uh, rhythm, I would say, in my swing, my load, everything. I felt I was just definitely more relaxed at the plate. I just, you know, it's, it's a feeling that I hadn't felt this year. Um, it's kind of how I felt last year and, you know, kind of the back end of my sophomore season, just that, that looseness in the box where, I mean, I kind of just let the pitcher provide the power and, and just put a good swing on the ball and, you know, good things will happen. And, and luckily enough, I mean, my teammates, you know, swung the bat extremely well in front of me and I, I constantly had base runners, you know, on for me, which, you know, kind of makes it easier to hit. All right, Terrell, one more from Luis Abala and then we're done. Go ahead, Luis. Alex, next time you could take V out there to shag the balls for you. Just f picking up 500 balls, that must not have been fun. I mean, it, it, I was like I said, I was in a mindset where I, I was just so like kind of distraught on what was what just happened to us, and I, I was I was just counting one, two, three, kind of just like, dang, I, I think I took too many swings, but I didn't feel like I took that many because I was just constantly just thinking about the whole weekend. You must have been loose then for six RBIs on uh, yesterday. Yeah, I definitely felt good going into the game.